I'm R.T. Kendall. Thank you for looking at our website. Uh, I'm here in Hendersonville, Tennessee, uh, right by Lake Hickory. We're blessed to live right on the water. And I'm happy to say that uh, our son T.R. is filming this. And uh, this is something we've never done before. Uh, but I want to talk to you about my latest book. It's called Totally Forgiving God. I'll tell you the story. Uh, a number of years ago, about 15 years ago, I wrote a book called Total Forgiveness. It was first published in Britain. And then when we moved across the Atlantic here in America, it was published over here. I don't think I was prepared for the success that it has had. Uh, but it's been my most successful book. I think it's gone into almost 20 languages. And then shortly after I wrote that book, uh, I received an anonymous, no, it wasn't anonymous, it was an email from a man, I didn't know where he was from, that's what I should have said. It turned out he was from California. And he said, thank you for your book on total forgiveness, but would you please, as soon as possible, write a book that will help me to forgive myself. Well, when he wrote that book, I felt ashamed because I knew I had unfinished business in that area. Uh, I go into it in the book itself, but I will say that it led to my writing the book, Totally Forgiving Ourselves. And uh, it was a book in which I explained something I had to do uh, in forgiving myself. And it's been a wonderful emancipation for me. I've got a friend in Britain whose name is Rob Parsons. He reads all my stuff, and after he finished the book, Totally Forgiving Ourselves, he called me. He said, R.T., I know the title of your next book, If You've Got the Courage. I said, what's that? He said, Totally Forgiving God. I swallowed. I immediately thought of my critics, what they will think when they see a book with that title. I thought they'll, they'll see the title and criticize it and not bother to read the book. But I got over that and I have written the book. My publisher in Britain and in America, they both say it's my most important book. That said, I think every author thinks his most recent book is his most important or best. So who knows for sure? I will say this, I've written a book that deals with the question, when you feel let down by God. Some would go so far as to say they feel betrayed by God. Do you know the two men that suffered the most in the Old Testament? It was Abraham and Moses. Both felt let down. In fact, Abraham actually felt betrayed by God. But he did something, I call it breaking the betrayal barrier. And once we do that, and I wish more people did it, we're set free and we find out how real God is. So I've written the book, Totally Forgiving God, to help you to see God has done nothing wrong. He is just, He's perfect, good, and upright is He in all His ways. But He lets things happen that we don't understand. We must set Him free for what He does. One day, God will clear His name. But we who do it now will be so glad we did just that. When the day comes, God clears His name. When everybody sees that God is just and perfect and no one will say, this isn't fair. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Let's do that now. And if we have felt hurt that God let something happen, no, there is a purpose in it, and one day we will understand. That's why I wrote the book, and I hope it will be a blessing to you.